stay for the Coupe Aeronautic. Gordon Bennett, the 64th here on the airfield, is all about to happen. We've had some really strange weather this last few days, but it's clearing up nicely. And our first guests in the studio today, my good friends, Germany 2, Ben Mateos, and Gerhard as well. How are you guys? Yeah, great. <laughs> Gerhard? Ready to go. And Ben? Ready to go as well. You know, um, I was just talking with the guys off camera about our last interview we did, the, the previous one, and we were having a really good time. It was after the race. We were really full of fun. I can see some tension, some tension in your eyes, Ben. Yeah, as I said, we are ready to go, and it will be an exciting race. And I think that's all we need to say about the strategies because there are a lot of options, and I think everybody uh, headquarters are still calculating what options we have. My director, Mark, says, ask every team about strategies. We've got to get some information about strategies, but you're not going to tell me anything at all, are you? Not about that one, no. <laughs> <laughs> we have different strategies. Maybe someone saw it on Instagram, but uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, so from the briefing. For yeah. The, yeah, 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 some nice pictures there. Yeah, definitely nice pictures. Balloons and such. Yeah, so incredible balloons, really. Yeah, some of the best I've seen. Now, tell me about what we've got here, Ben. Let's pick up with the uh, this golden sandbag. Yeah, don't put him on the floor. I will, I will hold so, him. Um, was it, yeah, two years ago in Montbellard? Yeah, two years ago. Uh, the team that won, uh, the Swiss team, um, they landed in the Danube Delta and it took them six hours till the boat was there to pick them up. And we were, we started thinking about, oh, if that happens to us, what, what will we do? What, what are you going to do for these six hours? And um, then we were like, hmm, we probably get thirsty. So we decided to build uh, the golden bag. It's the last bag you're ever going to throw out. We're going to open it up. And um, are we allowed to show it on TV? Yeah, yeah OK. So um, we have a nice sponsor from our balloon. So we have some, uh, some beers with us, uh, just in case. We need to lay wait a little bit longer for our retrieve. And huh? yeah, it's, uh, there's <laughs> another small bottle in it. So you never know what's going to happen. Maybe you have a farmer or somebody that you um, Need to make friends with. Need to make friends with, and uh, yeah, that we have enough to make share it, as to, well. To yeah. share and to make it over the, the over the next six to eight hours. <laughs> wow, it's incredible! You all, you've got to have your refreshments, of course, for when you for when you land. And Gerhard, what will he be drinking? Um, well, actually, he was hoping uh, for 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 some amusement, uh, amusement, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> bad jokes. But uh, yeah, we 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 cannot say if it's uh, gonna be the Scandinavian. He was hoping to meet some local elks, but uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see. On a serious note, how are you feeling? I mean, it's a. I think a lot of people from aviation are aware of the Gordon Bennett, but people watching who, who are not, who uh, might be just you know a skydiver or a paraglider. It is pretty extreme what you're doing. You're really putting yourself out there. It, it, it's not a foregone task. There is an element of, of risk that you, you, you're putting yourself into here. Yes, of course we, we do. But um, for us, it's the second Gordon Bennett. And uh, two years, no, three years ago in Bern, we had it uh, Thursday. We had opening ceremony and everything. And Friday morning, we started with the inflation uh, process. And in the evening, there was takeoff. So this year, with the one-day break, is a lot more chilled out or relaxed. Uh, we had a lot more time to get ourselves convenient here in, in Torun. And uh, it's a lovely city. And I think we are quite relaxed to get into the flight. So everything is fine. More, more, more relaxed than uh, uh, three years ago in Bern at our first Gordon Bennett. Uh, so, but yeah, if, if you knew, uh, if you would know the, the outcome of a story, it wouldn't be an adventure. So oh, I like that. I like that. Very, very good indeed. Have you got time to show us the other bag? I know you've got to get away, but uh, have you got a moment well, for this? Yeah, in Bern, we were flying our, uh, the old Stuttgarter Hofboy balloon, which was yellow on the, on the bottom and white on top. And since that balloon is not anymore, we have a new one. Um, the balloon museum in, in Augsburg and Gersthofen, um, they wanted to have our old envelope and we were wondering why. And a few weeks later, we got these beautiful bags, um, which are actually made of the balloon that did, I don't know how many Gordon Bennett's, but they did Maybe. some with Thomas Hora and Volker and one with us. So um, we did our training on it. I did my fir first uh, Alp crossing with that balloon. So we still got the memories um, and uh, yeah. Wow, that's amazing. What a great, great souvenir. Guys, Benedict, Matthias, I know you want to go and get yourself uh, sorted and get all your equipment ready, but uh, thanks for joining us on uh, Gordon Bennett TV. Welcome. We'll, we'll keep it, we're keeping up to date with what's going on. We look forward to the start. Yes, we do too. <laughs> we will meet you on the field later, hopefully. Yeah, we'll see you there. Join us back here in a couple of minutes with our next team, Swiss 2.
Welcome back to the studio, Gordon Bennett TV, launch day, Saturday, our first broadcast of the day. We're going to be bringing you all the launch as well, and we're going to be showing you lots of action on the field. Swiss 2 are with us. Kurt and Pascal, thanks for joining us. Thank you for being here. And uh, how was the journey here? No problem? No, no problems. We are uh, came by two days, so relaxing. Now, I've been asked to ask each team about strategy. I know you're not going to tell me anything, but any little clues at all? Well, it's gonna uh, gonna be very easy. Just looking what the others do and do it better. <laughs> That's the strategy. <laughs> we don't have to be much much better. We just have to be a little bit better than the best one of that. So we have to look at it after lunch and see. There are many different options, but we don't yeah. know yet. Yeah. And um, how are we feeling about the conditions? You know, we've had that. We, we know we're going to be having some lots of weather over on the west coming over from the UK. Yeah, I asked my uh, our meteor, meteor man this morning, and he told me if you ask me as a normal aeronaut, I would say you are crazy going to the west. But we are at the Gordon Bennett, and maybe sometimes some teams will go that way, and we will see. Let's have a look on screen at some of the predicted trajectories. We've got some uh, lines to show you. We just have a look at the screen behind you. It should just come up there. We can. Can you talk me through a little bit of what we can see there? Tell me what we're uh, what we're looking at. We are here in Turun, and uh, the lower trajectories go to the left, to uh, west, and um, go to Germany, and later on, maybe to <coughs> France. But here is a, a bad weather situation coming to the east. And the problem is when you go too, uh, um, too much to south, you come into this uh, bad weather. And then it will be rainy, thunderstorms, and not weather for fly a balloon there. Yeah, well, I think we've got an image of what we're looking at the weather for tomorrow. Um, I think 24 hours or tomorrow afternoon, you can see there. Yeah, that's clearly seen at that you have here the center and <coughs> you don't want to be in there. I mean, we are flying with a gas balloon filled full of hydrogen, so thunderstorm is no option at all. But uh, maybe more to the north or if that doesn't work, as you have seen on the trajectories going higher, uh, you will always get back to in the other direction. So we have to see what's going to be flyable, what's going to be the options. It's certainly yeah. going to be interesting. And now for you for the next well directly what's happening once you leave the studio what's going to be your plan then we have to prepare the balloon uh, one o'clock we have to go into the field 
then we have one hour and 30 minutes to prepare and then the cars have to come out because then we fill up the balloons with hydrogen and this is not a good plan with the cars in the field. So we have one and a half an hour to prepare, prepare and then uh, the ballooning will begin to fill up. And the Swiss teams, are you using the same uh, people back home? Have you got the same team behind the scenes or do you have different teams? We still have different teams. I mean, there were some thoughts uh, a few years ago, maybe getting one common command center. But as you can uh, imagine, also after the last Gordon Bennett, we are still fighting for Swiss One. I mean, we were many years Swiss One. Then the 2019, the colleagues, they took it over. That's OK. That's uh, that's really great championship. But we still uh, have also internal um, competition. So I think that's still, still good. And maybe we have to see in the future if there are common topics to address but in the moment we have separate command teams it's really interesting isn't it yeah well listen guys i'll let you get going and get your cars on the field but thanks for joining us and we'll come and say hello to you uh, during the uh, filling thanks yeah. very much thank you very much thank you and uh, also thank you to our teams home in uh, uh, switzerland in the thanks. turbental in the turbental yeah. <laughs> how was that pronunciation was that good <laughs> <Perfect>. <laughs> thank you we'll be back in a couple of minutes with meet director benoit see you then We are back on the airfield, Aero Club Pomorski, for the main day, the launch day of the Coop Aeronautic Gordon Bennett, the 64th. This is where it all begins. Now we are starting to build the podium. These are the yellow brick trackers. These gather all the information and let us know how far away each of the competitors get from ground zero. And it all begins right here. This is the center of the podium and this X marks the spot. We've set and calibrated all the trackers for this to be zero. And the furthest away from here, the furthest away from this point, wins the Gordon Bennett race. It could be thousands of kilometers. Welcome back to Gordon Bennett TV France. Two are with us, Eric and Benoit. Well, bonjour. Bonjour, monsieur. Ça va? Yes. <laughs> J'aime dobre. Je suis en forme. Yes. Merci, yeah. merci. Look, listen, Eric had a bit of an adventure getting here. Yes, we are all waiting for that. The, the weather was a bit tricky in the last three days, but what is interesting is that all the team, they have a strong command center that are working for us, that are... Uh, uh, thinking about keeping us safe. So that's very relaxing for the teams. And we have been all discussing in the three days and uh, that, that, that's interesting that we can fly because three days ago, we would not know yet. So. Yes, we were just saying to the Swiss, they've still got their own individual teams, but you, uh, the French, have got one team commanding all three, right? Yes, that was a decision that was made in Nancy and eight years ago. And I think it's a good point. Some countries, they have different command center, we have a, a, a common one, which is interesting in terms of, uh, I would say, uh, uh, um, I would say uh, uh, performance, maybe, but also for the, for, the, for the sake of it. I mean, uh, we are all friends, we are all working for French uh, victory. So whatever it's French one, two or three, we decided that it has to be a French pilot. So this has been uh, uh, told by uh, uh, Vincent Les, they said it's very important for the country. and. Uh, uh, we have been doing that with Benoit Pellard for many years. It's my fourth Gordon Bennett and his second Gordon Bennett. And we try to, to, to think about what we have learned, what the command center has learned, and for the future team. Maybe one day I will stop Gordon Bennett and we will be new pilot as this year. And I think it's very important for the country. And uh, for the moment, it, it performs well. Have you got some uh, youngsters coming up through the system? Have you got people mm -hmm. who are thinking about it in the future? Yes. Uh, um, uh, Benoit has made 10 golden minutes, Vincent has made 20, then Titi, France one, has made seven, I'm fourth, he's second, and uh, 
Alexi is second golden minute, Paul Henry is first golden minute. So you've got uh, 10, 7, 4, and it's interesting that there are new pilots and new people in the command center so that we, we keep this tradition of uh, gas balloon in France. How are you feeling now mentally and uh, preparation wise? Uh, where's, your, uh, where's your feeling at the moment? You know, you're hours away. What's going, in your, what's going through your mind? Um, it's, uh, it's for sure. The, 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 the performance level over the last 10 years and the last five years has incredibly increased and everyone tried to do his best. And uh, as Christoph Hoover was always saying, things never happen as they were planned. <laughs> so that means that the command center has to think every hour and the pilots has to change and modify the trajectory all the time. That's the, 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 the story of this adventure. No one knows where we'll be in one, two or three days. We have one, two, three options. We will modify the options during the flight because there might be some changing. The wet forecast might be slightly different. So that's interesting to, to be on, uh, on live thinking, on live brainstorming. Yeah. And with all the teams, the 15 teams, do you predict them all doing the same or do you predict a split or what do you think? Difficult to predict, but if we look back in the last 20 years, there have always been two or three different strategies, uh, uh, teams going, uh, flying to the east, team flying to the west, team flying north, team having waiting strategy, like for example in 2018 with the, the Polish guys, like we did with the Polish guy in 2019, was not for the good result, but that's interesting how uh, different the, the strategy can be. Well, guys, I know you want to get on the field and get yourself, uh, get everything going. Uh, thanks very much for joining us and uh, à tout à l'heure. Yes, we have a netted balloon. There are two French netted balloons which take a bit more time. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll come and uh, get some footage of you getting those prepared. Yes, thank you very much. Thank you. You can leave Benoit, come and join me in the studio now. Meet director. Thanks, guys. You are, uh, thank you, you, you are released. Well, takes over from Benoit. yes, Benoit takes over from Benoit. This is it, my friend. This is what we've been waiting for. Yes, we are. And it's uh, fantastic because the weather is much better than expected. I'm trying to get uh, a move on so they are, um, because we planned yesterday to fill the balloons and uh, to get the balloons away by about midnight, but uh, we're aiming now for 9 p.m. Yeah, there's a lot of pressure on you as well to make a decision. You know, you've got to look at all the different factors and the weather and everybody wants to go. And sometimes you've got to hold them back a little bit and, you know, it's uh, the last few days have been very mixed for you. Yeah, it's, uh, they are, they have certainly have. Um, we got the pressure coming in uh, slowly, slowly, slowly. But funnily enough, uh, today with the we are pretty certain that they will take off today. So the pressure is off of me. Now I'm just uh, settling a little, just petty matters, so that the trailers are uh, online now so they get all sorted out and once the first balloon will start filling in everything will go fine so we think the uh the, the filling will start around 2 30 you are looking at we are aiming from i would say about reasonably about three o'clock what time do you think we might get the first balloon in the air nine, nine o'clock there we go that's a prediction from benoit we're looking at nine o'clock maybe to get in the air all depends on the conditions, but we'll be back with you later on today with all the latest action. We've got a show coming your way at 19.30. But before that, we just want to have a look at some actual inflation, which we have from a, a previous year. Let's, uh, let's run that and have a look now. Talking of the inflation, these guys. let's have a look at the inflation of uh, Team Australia with their brand new canopy earlier on today. Yeah, that's the one there. We uh, watched it being inflated. Let's have a look. Here we go. Talk us through this. Okay, so you see uh, the balloon. You've got people who were there on the top of the balloon to put weight on the balloons while we're inflating a bit of uh, hydrogen in it. And you got to wait uh, for the balloon to be filled uh, as much as possible. So when the balloon left, the gas would go up and the parachute will keep close. If there is not enough gas and if you got a bit of wind, which happened later with the Belgian balloon, the balloon went that way and unfortunately uh, the, the balloon collapsed. Uh, What's your limits? What's the uh, wind limits for inflation? The wind limit for inflation for this sort of balloons is about uh, seven to eight knots. 
uh, while you are inflating at this, you know, the, this is a very critical uh, stage. If there was more wind, the danger would be for the balloon to go too, uh, too much an angle and the parachute to go down. But um, once it's up, uh, 10, 15 knots, no problem. And this is actually a brand new one that Team Australia has. This is a brand new balloon that uh, came out uh, last week or a couple of weeks ago from the factory in Germany. What kind of value, what kind of cost are we looking at for a brand new one? For a brand new balloon like this, it's about 50,000 euros. Wow, it's a, certainly, a, it's certainly an just, item. Just for the envelope, sorry. I'm talking about the envelope and then you've got the basket and all the equipment. The envelope uh, by itself is about 50,000 euros. Yeah, well, Team Australia with their brand new system ready to be flown. They actually finished their inflation now and they are getting ready for the launch. What all right, so there we go. It's all about getting the balloons inflated and Benoit getting them off and getting this race underway. Yep. Check it all out. It is GordonBennett.Aero. You can follow all the tracking once we are flying and uh, we'll be back with you. We're another show this afternoon, early evening, around 19.30. Benoit, merci, monsieur. Bye-bye. Thank you. See you later. We'll see you then. A tout à l'heure.